What is going on dudes and dudes of the interweb? Thank you so much for clicking. I am AJ and let's get right into this video. So today we shall continue with our Madonna discography journey and today we will be listening to her fifth studio album titled Erotica. Ooh girl, I'm actually quite excited for this because the title is quite enticing and I hope it is Caliente, God damn it. This was actually on quite a bit of y'all's top five Madonna albums, so I look forward to whatever she has in store for us. Y'all already know we're robots too, though, so without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Track number uno, Erotica, the album title. Okay, it's gonna have that very 90s vibe. I'm down for it. If I take you from behind, push myself into your mind, what you least expect. Whoa! You try to reject it. If I'm Wait! Is she singing about paying somebody? <gasps> Masada! <laughs> Because she said, if I take it from behind, Mazada! Mazada! <laughs> oh, girl! Hmm. We gonna need some holy water after this. Girl, I had to go back so I can hear what she was saying. Give me a second, darling. Let my mouth go where it wants to. <laughs> I'm so excited! If this is the album, all the way, hmm, I'm in for a treat. Girl, let's keep listening. Girl, she sounds so sensual. Girl, Mazana, you make me actually want to be, you know, the person you're singing about. Girl, let's keep listening. <laughs> Think it was ever gonna end, girl? Okay, erotica, erotica. Mazana said, "I want to put you in a trance," and guess what? She put me in a goddamn trance. Oh, damn it! Okay, hold on, put a goddamn one mark to it, girl. When I tell you I was shooketh when I heard the the, the first uh, verse, okay, I didn't think we were gonna go like that. <laughs> Mazana was nasty, and I like that. <laughs> Yo, this was very sensual. Like, I imagined everything she was basically instructing, okay? Ooh, she said, I'm not gonna hurt you. I was like, ooh, girl, but I want a little pain. <laughs> girl, I do that. Okay, okay. Erotica, great opening to the album. Um, I definitely look forward to whatever she has in store for us. Shall we move on, Zare? Track number two, Fever. Oh, wait. Don't tell me she is covering Fever. I only know it because of Beyonce. Mm. Girl! All right, this is an interesting rendition of this song. Let's hear this. You give me fever. You give me fever. Hey! I like this one. You give me fever. Hey! Fever. I thought the song was over. I was like, crap! Already? Fever. 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 What a lovely way 
had a blast with this rendition of this song, okay? <sighs> Madonna! <clears throat> Girl, I told your ass <laughs> that I was done with my cardio for the year, okay? I'm sick and tired of you making me tell her. But you know what I realized though? Girl, my breathing is so much better, okay? I was not a breath. What's that? I've been working me out! Yeah, I like this one. Anyways, um, I know the, not the original song, but I've heard this song before by other artists. So I, I, I've never heard Madonna's rendition. So I absolutely loved it and I had a great time. So, um, shall we move on? Sorry. Track number three, Bye Bye Baby. <laughs> That is not a love song. Mm. Pause. I kind of wish her vocals were much more prominent than whatever is being presented right now. We're almost at a minute of this song, and you know, I gotta strain myself to hear her. Either way, the production is dope. You know, I'm bopping, but girl, I'm, I'm chuckling to listen, you know? All right, let's keep listening. Lizana was pissed, okay? So, I think I understand why the song was structured the way it was. She's basically leaving a voicemail. It sounded like it because it sounded like she was singing from a phone, right? Um, I did wish it was a lot more prominent because it's kind of hard to hear whatever she's singing about. I mean, I got it. But, you know, I had to train myself. Either way, the production was dope, okay? I was getting my life, and Madonna had enough. She was like, you know what? <clears throat> I am sick and tired of these trifling ass muckers, okay? It's time for me to chuck deuces and go to the bottom of it, God damn it! Last time. First and last time you ever see me cry. Bye. This ain't a love song. I like the way she started with that. Track number four, Deeper and Deeper. song is interesting when it initially started I was immediately captivated and it kept my interest up to a certain point and at that point I started getting a little bored of the song but then there was a switch up right she added the um, Latin influence element which spiced up the song no pun intended and it revived the song for me. Um, I did enjoy it, don't get me twisted. However, this is probably the first song on this album that had me wondering why it was so long. Track number five, When Life Begins. Uh -huh. 
good, girl. I don't know what to see. Ooh, ha ha ha, my son, no. Oh. Mmm. I think it's beginning to rain. Ha ha ha, my son, no. Yo. Yo, my son, I was a freak. Yo. Hope you brought your wrinkle because baby, I think it's about to rain. <laughs> yeah, shout out me, baby. Hey, hey, okay. Girl, I swear this is got them song. That's where my love is. Oh my gosh, for a second I thought she said, come inside. I was like, <laughs> my son, yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to be like, hi, how did they let this on a the radio? Anyways, um, hmm, she said warm inside. I think she said warm inside. Girl, let me go back. What? No. Is she saying it? Wait. Wait. Madonna, what are you saying, girl? Oh my god! She really did say come inside. That's where our life began. It's warm inside. <laughs> Madonna! Yo! Okay, but Dawn was a little crying, okay? I'm mean, not hurt for it though. You know what I like me a freaking little bit. <laughs> Bro, Mazana took us through a journey, okay? Yes, Mazana was <laughs> Girl! <laughs> This tongue got my mouth warring. Ooh, girl, hold on, I forgot got it more, all right? I loved it lyrically. I absolutely loved the... Ooh! Okay, hold on. <laughs> I forgot got it more. Where, li where life begins. Lord, I, I actually... I'm gonna start addressing that as that, okay? Where life begins, goddammit, okay? Come inside. I think yes, Madonna was a freak. Madonna, girl. Huh. All right. Girl, let's move on. Track number six, Bad Girl. continue to progress I enjoyed it more and more I liked the vulnerability in the song's lyrics and I also liked the overall presentation of the song I just liked it I just liked it aesthetically um hold on let me put a get the mark to this I liked it Bad girl, and I'm not happy this way, girl. Ooh, track number seven, waiting. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, I like the way that came in. Oh, no. Ugh. best. Yeah. Well, I know from experience. Madonna's in limbo, okay? She's like, damn, 
I know this trifling ass motherfucker's trifling. He lying. But damn, that dick is bomb though. Oh, the dilemma. What should I do? <laughs> Girl, you know what? Yo, Madonna was going through it back in the day, okay? Like, she had way too many trifle ass mouths, all right? Talking about, yo, don't break my heart like you said you would. Damn, if somebody says they're gonna break your heart, girl, you know what to do, Chuck Deuces. You got to go. Make a U turn. Talking about you are the only lover who's ever hurt me the way you did. Like, God, why are you still home? You know what? Waiting Sonically is definitely a song that I wouldn't mind playing in the background when I'm like cleaning up on like a Saturday or something. You know, it's one of those songs that you just play as an old school jam and you just like chilling. You get what I'm saying? It's not necessarily the top of the top, but it's not a song that I would skip if I were to listen to this album again. Track number eight, Thief of Hearts. She's adding different elements to spice it up, you know, wake me up, baby. Ooh. Hey. Now sit your ass down. Well, all right. Y'all heard Mazana? Miss Thief of Hearts. Becky with the good hair. She's talking to you, huh? <laughs> If you know that reference, you a real one. Hi, it was Thief of Hearts. I had a good time listening to it. Again, it's one of those songs, like, I'm not really sure which one, but when it started, I was enticed. And then the song progressed, and there was a point where I started losing interest, but then she switched it up, and that woke me up. It caught my interest again, and from then on, I continued to enjoy the song, you know? It wasn't a point where I got bored of it. So, Thief of Hearts, Madonna was sick and tired of this traveling hoe. I was trying to take her man. She's like, listen, you can go around taking everybody else's man, okay? Being a home wrecker to everybody's home, but not mine. All right? Sit your ass down, you hoe. <laughs> oh. God damn, Madonna. You know you were spicy like that. How do I enjoy Thief of Hearts? Track number nine, Words. my favorites uh, lyrically because it still can be applied uh, today you know whatever she said in the song is true your words do cut like knives so be mindful of what you say to others sonically it's a very groovy song however it's not at the top of the list for me okay um, again one of my favorite songs lyrically for sure. Track number 10, Rain. <laughs> Wow. 
Madonna was trying to be subtle with the freakiness, but um, she failed, okay? <laughs> so uh, I can feel your lips coming down to taste this rain. <laughs> This song has to be about a squirter, okay? She's letting y'all know that, um... <sighs> the rivers run deep. <laughs> okay, Mazana. Um, very, very clever way to put it. You know, rain coming down my fingertips. You know what? Drag number 11, why so hard? <laughs> Put a goddamn mark to this. Hold on, let me put a goddamn mark. Madonna, Madonna know what she was doing, okay? After Rain, she had a song titled Why Is It So Hard? Okay? In my mind, I was like, ooh, I'm about to get a song. But nah, she was thinking about some real sh okay? She was thinking about seeking peace amongst brothers and sisters. We're all brothers and sisters, you know? Not literally, but you know what I mean. So, I'm actually quite surprised at the subject matter, um, especially after listening to majority of the songs so far, you know? But I'm glad that uh, she branched out and dropped some books on this album. You get what I'm saying? So, I absolutely loved the lyrical content and it also had, it wasn't, it didn't say featuring anybody, but, and I heard a male voice. Mazana. Anyways, I liked it. Track number 12, In This Life. Sitting on a park bench, he was only 23. the lyricism of this track mostly because Madonna did a great job with painting the picture she started out by talking about the unfortunate passing of her 23 year old friend and then she proceeded to talk about the father figure who based on her description is part of the LGBTQ community and then towards the end with the dialogue talking about how people are turning a blind eye on this thing and how this thing is basically taking lives and everybody is just hoping and waiting for this thing to go away you know to be eradicated and she was actually concerned by people just turning a blind eye basically you know so just based on what uh she was singing about and based on the timing of this album i am assuming this was during the epidemic and it's so sad you know i i i think it's really dope that there were artists who were willing to um talk about it and 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 inform people about it through their music and their art you know so 
I applaud the compassionate uh, Madonna in this interesting album. So yeah, I like the song lyrically. Track number 13, last track on this album, Secret Garden. Ladies and gentlemen, was the end of the album, Secret Garden. That we already know what Madonna was singing about, okay? Forbidden Garden, Secret Garden, okay? She's talking about a punani, all right? Ha, <laughs> oh, Mazada. You know what, do you? Anyways, um, Secret Garden was smooth, had a jazzy vibe to it, and. Oh, the whispers. It's still playing in my head as we're as, as I'm talking right now. So that's why I'm um moving like this. <laughs> Alright, stop. Anyway, Circuit Garden was a song that um was smooth, easy to listen to, and didn't feel quite long, I'd say. You know, loved the outro with the piano. Going ham, here for it. How do I scroll with that said? Well, we have finally come to the conclusion of this album. And I got to say, this album actually surprised me. Lyrically, I got to say, y'all. Okay? Um, it's very reflective of the time. It's very 90s, like early 90s, maybe late 80s as well. And I did, I really did enjoy, how do you call it? Why? No, no, no. In this life. I, I was thinking about that. I enjoyed the fact that Madonna had a song dedicated to that um, particular time. Unfortunate time, I must say. And, you know, in that song, she was like, yo, I really hope that in this lifetime, whatever we're facing right now can be... Uh, dealt with and rectified and diminished in a sense, you know, so I'm ha I'm glad that her wish came true. Things have gotten better. So kudos um, Yeah, this album is quite reflective of the time and I enjoyed Majority of the album I'll say what were some of my favorite tracks you asked? Well, you already know I'm about to let you know you're ready. So we've got the album title itself, Erotica, Fever, Where Life Begins, Bad Girl, Thief of Hearts, and Why Is It So Hard? Those are the songs with little marks next to them. What about you? What were some of your favorites when you initially heard this album? And what songs have grown on you as time has passed by? Please let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe and share if you have any other recommendations please leave them in the comment section below and i'm more than happy to watch and listen and react in the meantime i will talk to you later